Hello, X-Ray Bob here, and today's topic is Transformers. The uh, kind of Transformer we'll be talking about is not the toy that turns into a car or a robot, but the kind that changes the intensity of an alternating voltage, and it'll also change the intensity of your current. It only works with AC power, and it'll both change your voltage and your current. So we're going to talk about three types, a step-up transformer, which will increase the voltage, a step-down transformer, which will decrease the voltage, and an auto transformer, which will be used for a slight decrease on the voltage. The step-up and step-down transformers operate on the mutual induction, while the auto transformer operates on self-induction. So if we had a electric current, uh, wrapped around a magnet, we, uh, a, an iron core, we would generate a magnetic field in that core. And if we wrapped a, another wire on the other side, we would induce a current on that. So our step-up and step-down transformers um, act on mutual induction, and what we have is this incoming, this primary current, through these primary coils wrapped around n number of turns, and it's wrapped around this core, which gives us a magnetic field, which induces a current and voltage onto this secondary set of windings. So our law will be our voltage at the secondary, here coming off in the blue, over the voltage over the primary, will be um, in direct proportion to the number of secondary coils relative to primary coils. And the number of secondary coils turns divided by the number of primary turns of that coil is what we call our turns ratio. Um, in addition to just scaling our voltages, when the voltage goes up, the current goes down. So as you see, our it's flipped, P over S versus S over P. So here we've got the current at the primary over the current of the secondary equals the number of coils at the secondary over the number of coils of the primary. So this one big equation, if you memorize it, that the turns ratio equals voltage secondary over voltage primary, and the turns ratio also equals the current primary over current secondary, will get you through all the transformer math problems. The auto transformer, which I mentioned before, uses a tap that can be slid up or down that primary coil. And the number of coils on the tap side on B will induce that secondary voltage, which will be a fraction of the number of coils um, in A. And so here we call the self-induction, and it's only got one coil. While the step-up and step-down transform are mutual induction, and they have two coils and that iron core. So if we look at our, current, our whole X-ray tube circuit, we have an auto transformer here from which we select our major and minor KVP by picking off what point what number of coils to tap off of the main one. And that's our auto transformer. Then after we pre-select that range of voltages, we run it through our step-up transformer to go from like 80 volts to 80,000 volts. And then we also have our step-down transformer where we go from a large number of coils to a few number of coils to step down the voltage and what that'll do will increase our current. Because if you increase your voltage, you decrease your current, and if you increase your current, you decrease your voltage. It's part of the no free lunch rule. So a step up transformer will always have a lot of coils on the secondary side, many more than the primary side. And in our circuit, it'll either be 500 times it or 1,000 times it, um, depending on whether you're in Europe at 220 volts coming in, or in the US, 100 volts coming in. But really, we get voltage out being much greater than voltage in because the number of coils on the secondary side are much higher than the number of coils on the primary side. While on our step-down transformer, we have fewer coils on the secondary side and more coils on the primary side. So our voltage, which might go from 1,000 volts down to 200 volts, um, decreases. But our current, which here is at 2 amps, goes up to 10 amps. So here comes our math problems. Here's one. The secondary side of a transformer has 250,000 turns. The primary side has 500 turns. What is the turn ratios? So first we identify our givens. 
and that is NP is 500, the primary side, and NS is 250,000, the secondary side. What are we going to solve for? We're solving for the terms ratio. And to do the math, we got to remember what the hell is a terms ratio. So we go back to this and we say, oh yeah, terms ratio is number of turns in the coil on the secondary side divided by the number of turns in the coil on the primary side. So now we know NS over NP is our terms ratio. And we just plug in 250,000 over 500. That equals 500. And we circle it, make it obvious. And if it's got a turns ratio of 500, is it a step up or a step down transformer? Hmm. It must be a step up transformer because it's going to step the voltage up. And in step down transformers, we're going to have turns ratios less than one. In step up transformers, we'll have turns ratio much more than one. All right, our second problem. There's 300 turns on a primary side of a transformer and 75,000 turns on a secondary side. If 200 volts AC is supplied to the primary, what is the voltage induced in the secondary winding? All right, what are our givens? We've got NP, primary side is 300 turns. NS, secondary side is 75,000 turns. Must be a step up, transformer, gonna expect more voltage. And we've got our voltage going in as 120. If it gave us a voltage going in as 10 volts DC, we wouldn't get anything out because these things only work on AC. What are we going to solve for? We're going to solve for the secondary side winding. Ah, I didn't turn it red. So let's do the math. We're going to need a formula. Well, let's see. I've got NP, NS, and VP. So the formula I'm going to go with is this half of the equation, the side with voltages. All right, so our formula is Vs over Vp equals Ns over Np. I can either plug in the numbers and do the algebra later, or I can do the algebra now and bring my Vp in the denominator up to the numerator of the other side and leave Vs all alone. So the secondary voltage will equal the primary voltage times the turns ratio. So I plug in 120 volts in times 75,000 over 300, and that'll equal, come on, Next slide, 30,000 volts. Hmm, 30,000 volts, maybe I'll be impressive and call that 30 kilovolts and may circle it, make it easy for my teacher to find it. All right, our third problem, third and final problem. The turns ratio of a filament transformer. Hmm, filament transformer. That'll probably be stepped down because the filament, I want a lot of MA and I don't need much voltage because I got to burn off some electrons. All right, the turns ratio of filament transformer is 0.375. Ah, turns ratio less than one. I know it's stepped down. What is the filament current, current if the current through the primary winding is 1.2 amps? So identify the givens. Turns ratio is given. And what is turns ratio? It's S over P. And that's 0.375. And the primary winding is given as 1.2 amps. So what am I going to solve for? I'm going to solve for the secondary current. And do the math, got to remember formula. I want the formula with current. I'll bring that over here. P over S, S over P. So with currents, it's flipped. Primary over secondary current equals turn secondary over turns primary. So I'll do the algebra before I uh, plug in any numbers. So when I bring the uh, primary over, or I want to get the S alone by bringing that over, I've got to flip the turns ratio. So I secondary equals I primary times the one over the turns ratio, right? Because I got P over S, not S over P. So IS equals 1.2 amps times one over that turns ratio of 0.375, and it turns out to be 3.2 amps. All right, thanks again to Dr. Bouchong and Queen Carol for all their figures and problems and help so I could teach you. All right, this is X-Ray Bob, out.